In this video, you'll learn how you can make your voice stand out against background music. It's a simple process that I wish I knew back when I started making tutorials. Spoiler alert, it isn't reducing the volume of the music. So let's jump into Kaden Live and get started. So over here on the top track, I have my vocals and at the bottom here, I have the soundtrack or music. So I'm going to disable the soundtrack and play back my voice first. All right then, that's it for this video. If you liked it or learned anything new, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? See so as you can see, it sounds normal, regular voice. And now I'm going to play it with the soundtrack underneath. All right, then. that's it for this video. If you liked it or learned anything new, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, so the first thing we can do is look at the audio spectrum so we can identify where our voice sits, right? So each voice is going to sit somewhere different. The mixing of the voice also is going to influence. So I'll go over to the audio workspace inside of Gaten Live, and I'm going to disable the audio mixer here so I get a full view of the audio spectrum. To open this, simply go to view and then find audio spectrum, but it should be inside of the audio workspace. So if I mute the soundtrack and I play my vocals, you can see where it's bouncing on the spectrum here. And we're getting a lot of information from the 125 all the way up to the 2.5, right? And there's a bit of bounce around the 4, 5, 6K. Now that we have this information, I'll enable the soundtrack. And the first thing I'll do is add a volume effect to it because I do want to lower the overall volume. So I'll add a volume and I'll set it to negative four. So just a slight decrease. Next, over in the effects, I'll go to the audio effects and I'll look for tap EQ and I'll add the tap equalizer to the soundtrack. And let me scale this down. All right. Now you can always adjust the frequencies or the bends so you can target specific frequencies or target uh, with more precision. So I'll leave everything as is. From the research that I did of equalization and vocals, I found that the mids, so from 500 to 2000, hold a lot of fundamental sounds that we hear from human speech. From the high mids, so 2000 to 4000, we have clarity in articulation. And then around the 4000 to 6000, we have presence. So a bit of brightness and definition in the voice. So with that said, I'm going to lower bin 1 slightly to negative 4, I'll lower bin 3 to negative 8, bin 4 I'll lower to negative 12, I'll jump over to bin 6 lower by negative 8, and for 7 and 5 by negative 4. Now this is not a one size fit all formula, so again uh, different soundtracks are more pronounced in different areas or different frequencies. So you'll have to adjust accordingly as well. So if we just watch the spectrum for the uh, soundtrack, so if I disable the tap equalizer and the volume, and we watch the spectrum for this, you can see that it's very pronounced all over, but especially around the uh, 1000, so from 800 to the 2000 marks, it's always very pronounced, or even the 400s you could say. So now I'll play it again for you, and I'll enable our effects. And just for comparison, I'll go in between the before and after. So this is the after over here. All right then, that's it for this video. If you liked it or learned anything new, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? All right, so as you can see, it's a very straightforward process, very easy to do. Simply look at the audio spectrum, figure out what works best for your vocals. You can also add the EQ to your voice and uh, play with the different bends and see where really uh, where the different uh, resonance of your vocals lie but that's about it for this video hope it helped if you have any questions doubt or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you this is nux creative studio my name is jonathan and i'll see you next time